And I can try to get it there, but insulin is constantly fighting that. It's a war to try and keep the glucose in their brain. My hack is ketones will go right around that. It doesn't need the same transporters to get across the blood-brain barrier and especially to fuel those cells in the brain. So for performance, um, I mean, name a game where you don't use your brain. There isn't one, right? You're, you're gonna, if you're looking at performance to say, let's begin with the sharpest brains and the most focus, the most discipline, the less um, impulsivity, all of those things improve when that brain is being fueled with ketones. So let's focus on the brain part then. So what have you personally noticed as someone who I assume is in the ketogenic diet right now? Yes. What have you noticed the variances between when you're in a keto diet and when you're not? Right. Well, I've been doing this since 2015. So um, the onset of it was really messy, but uh, the seasons where I would do a great job and then I would think, ah, I'm fine. Uh, I, I mean, I can tell you, you see 25 patients in a day and I feel bad for the last five. <laughs> Uh, they've got a they've got a sluggish brain. I don't care how much coffee you've got in you. You can't keep that focus for that length of time. Um, when you're in a ketogenic state and not in a ketogenic state, uh, the f the the brain power, the concentration, the ability to keep your mood controlled is is just it is a night and day difference for most people. But uh, I think especially for me, like uh, I'm pretty high energy, and when it runs out, I get crabby. Uh, and that's not a good place to be if you're the patient.